Um, in the seven one homework, number sixteen looks really complicated, um, especially because there's it's just theta and then um, gamma. I think I don't remember what that one is, but anyways. Your indication that you're using your calculator is the fact they're giving it to you as decimals and then the answer says give it to me as a decimal, which means you're just letting the calculator do the work, okay? Um, I don't think mine... My, my decimals were different. I ended up with 0.5625 and 0.9375. How are you typing in uh, You can be in degree mode because there's no there's no pi. Wow.
the third side for each of them. So go through Pythagorean theorem. Right here, this would be, I'll call this uh, x. So x squared plus 5 squared equals 16 squared. 256 minus 25. Check me on that. It's 16, it's not 256. So, it is. Is it 256? Alright, minus 25. Um, 231. So, this is ugly, but you're just going to leave it. Just leave it like that. Repeat. So, this would be the y coordinate. Six minus um, one sixty nine. Also ugly, just leave it. So I found this to be square root two thirty one and this to be square root eighty seven. And here's why you needed that. Um, because it's tangent. Tangent means we have to divide y over x. So it's the tangent sum. This is plus. So it's the tangent sum formula. And that would be this. So tan of theta plus whatever that is, is tan theta plus tan that over 1 minus tan theta tan that. Okay. Now you look at your triangles and you plug it in. So tan theta would be y over x. So that's 5 over this mess. Tan, we're going we're to call it gamma. Tan gamma would be y over x. One minus tan theta. I don't like this problem. I have good news when I'm done. <clears throat> Alright. So there's the, the um, everything plugged in. Good news and bad news. Bad news is this is on your homework. Good news is it's not on the test. And when you get right here, you're done. You have to just go to your calculator. I don't want to do red. I really wish there was more color choices down here. But anyways, you go to your calculator and you type that in and then you round to four decimal places and you'll have the answer. So that's why I didn't take that off to homework because although when you first read it, I'm sure you're like, what in the world? And then when you saw me start it, you probably, I heard you cuss words, it's okay. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> But now that you've seen it, is it actually that bad? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I did those last night. I was just my example, and I just got it out the door. Like, yeah, don't bring it. It's in the wrong sense. What's the point of the data? Oh, oh. Yeah. Quick question. Quick question. This is a question. Yeah, I say you get out of it. <laughs> it's, it is. Frustrating. Um, I was looking at the rest of the homeworks to see. 15 is kind of the same way. Uh, 15, it doesn't go into decimals. 15 just stays as a fraction. So you type that in higher. 
Yeah, so you'd have to be really careful when you type that in. So this is where that whole math print thing is nice. So I've got my big fraction. Oh, wait, I'm on. Now, 15, you can still type it all in. There should be no radicals on 15. And that's why it stays, that's why it stays a fraction. Uh, 15 should have no square roots because it's all sine and cosine. It's tangent that ended up with radicals. But yeah, so you would type this in. my big fraction, then I'm, I'm going to my first fraction, so I've got another one, 5 over radical 231 plus another fraction, square root 87 over 13, <clears throat> go to the bottom, 1 minus fraction, 5, hello. 5 over square root 231. Then I double check it. I don't know why those don't line up. What? What about it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, confirm. Look at my desk. Look at the answer. Okay, mine was wrong. And I'll have to restart the entire whole problem. I was on the wrong thing. Wait, you don't get another try? No, I already used it a lot. Yeah, put it in the corner by my desk so that I don't have to worry about somebody. There's something bad. Let's just watch the, watch the open for you. Oh, wow. Um, Mallory, tell me your your decimals. No, um, the decimals that it gives you. Yeah. Five equals zero point eight one two five. Cosine zero point four three seven five. Oh, wait. You're still, you're still just typing those decimals in and hitting math crack? Well, that's not my decimals anymore. Because that was still what I was before, but I got it wrong. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, cookies are here. Cookies? Yeah, hold on. Um, okay, looking at number nine. first, then um, factor out the common factor and leave it. So, number nine, mine, mine's, this is what mine looks like. All right, so this is what I'm working with right here. I'm going to go in and clean up the radicals. This is to the first power, which means I can't do anything, right? So it stays. This is to an even power, so I can divide that by 2, and it will come out, right? Remember yesterday when we were refreshing? When you take the square root of something with an exponent, if it's an even power, it divides nicely, and it comes out. If it's odd, then that means you go to the closest even yeah. number. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So that's even. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. So that's going to come out sine of to the ninth power of alpha. So this would still be under a radical. Minus. 
That is odd. So that means to the closest even would be 4 divided by 2 would come out as a 2. But it was even, so that means there's 1 left under the radical, right? And then they're looking to see, do you notice they have a GCM of the square root of cosine? Notice this, like this right here, this entire term, I, I wish I could highlight, but I can't. But this entire term has that, and this entire term has that. So they want you to pull that out. Now, I personally would have pulled it to the front. I don't know. I imagine it would take it. The way I wrote it in my notebook was I pulled it to the front, and then I think it took it. All right, so I'm going to pull square root cosine of alpha out. So pick it up to the front. So I'll be left with sine to the ninth power minus cosine squared. And that's where they want you to stop. Wait. They want you to stop there. I did what you did. Mine says it's wrong. So my number is just. Uh, did you enter the correct? So it's nitpicky. Mine's alpha, so if you don't type alpha, it's going to mark it. A. That's, yeah. yeah. So you have that. Okay. Bring me your screen. Like ours is the same, except for the numbers. You accidentally typed the letter A.
And then I'm going to rewrite what's left because I can't make any sense of it. I've got sine over cosine, and that's just tan. I know. I know. It looks really, really complicated. That's as far, that's all they wanted. Wait, so mine has three, so two. And well, then, so you would have, if, if, what's the other one have? A one or two? No, they're both three. Why don't you just read to me what you got? Like it's cosine squared, or cosine third x sine x over sine yeah. three x cosine x. So would that be? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll okay. It. But is there an x in it? Like yeah, you have to put squared x. Yeah, you have, that's the angle. Remember that? That's, yeah. That has to be there. Shut up. I'm bringing ah! today. Sorry. It was okay. okay. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh now it's five. <laughs> <laughs> What's on top? Side or cosine? Look, cosine. This. So cosine and four. Would be two. Oh, it's five. Okay. Yes. You're five now. Yep. Oh, is cosine it still four. this? Is it cosine five? Yep. Okay. And then sine five? Yep. Is that it? So, yeah. on, on, right? On, on. Right. Oh, wait. A? I remember now. Well, she. Let's go through number 12. Where's the number? 12. Oh, my number is 105. It's really small. I wouldn't expect you to get it. Okay, um, number 12 is going to be a tangent problem. Um, and unfortunately, my math lab wants you to um, rationalize by multiplying by the conjugate. So, do you not? Okay, so, so enter, go ahead and get it to, see, I stopped right here. Um, I got it, well, mine ended up being nice. Uh, right there. I got it to a fraction. Where do you have it? This is right. This is this would be Yeah, you're all right, so let me let me go through mine. Okay, so tan one oh five. Forty five plus sixty. Yeah. Let's see. 60 plus 45 is 105. Okay, so that works. All right, so tan 105 is going to be the same as tan 60 plus 45. So tan, the sum formula is the first one plus the second one over okay so yesterday we learned that tan of 30 is square root 3 over 3 said that would be an easy thing to memorize. Um, we already know that tan of 45 is 1 if you're in quadrant 1. we got to do tan of 60. So on your unit circle, 60, the y coordinate is root 3 over 2, the x coordinate is 1 half, you change flip. Oh, this is nice. Okay. 
so this is square root 3. So tan 30 is root 3 over 3, it's easy to memorize, it's all the 3's, and then tan 60 is just root 3. Okay, plugging it in, tan 60, tan 45, I don't know. Mine's going to end up being easier. I don't have a fraction. I'll work yours in a second. Uh, tan 60 root 3, tan 45. So for me, mine looks like this. All right, Trent, you're saying if I type that in, it'll take it? Perfect. So, all right, let's work yours then. So, yours was 10, 15, and you picked All right, so that's the first one. Is it plus? Or expect you to at least clean that part up. Yeah. Although your answer is equal to the correct answer. So that so they want a different format. Okay, so they so we need to clean up the top. I'm gonna change the one to three over three. I'm leaving everything else alone. So I changed the 1 to 3 over 3. Now I'm going to get just one fraction in the top and one fraction in the bottom. So in the top, you've got to be careful. You've got 3 minus root 3 over 3, big fraction. In the bottom, you've got 3 plus root 3 over 3. See how I got that? Okay. Keep change flip. So keep keep change flip it. And then those three cancels. Now now see in your or in your computer, type three minus root three over three plus root three and see if it'll accept it. Yes. Yeah. I'm not I don't expect you to rationalize. And there is one of these on the test. Wait, you didn't write it right. It's it's 3 minus root 3. You type 3, 3 minus 3. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. 
Okay, now type this. Three minus square root three. We just cheated the system. She got it wrong because of a typo, so we purposefully got it wrong again and it gave her the exact same question. You get it? It worked? Okay. So number is this? twelve. So number twelve, you can stop. Here, you don't have to rationalize um, your conjugate. You don't have to multiply by the conjugate. Um.